Hey there! You must be here because you're searching for videos about electric vehicles. You're in the right place. A few years ago, when you heard the words electric vehicle or electric car, you probably thought of a strange and practical machine that had no place in your life. But today, nearly every auto manufacturer from Ford to Chevy to Porsche is releasing electric versions of their most popular models. Honey, who are you talking to? Dinner's almost ready. Just a second, honey. I'm doing this internet video about electric vehicles. Oh, okay, influencer. Make it quick. Will do. These new electric vehicles are flat out fun to drive. They have incredible torque when you press the pedal, great handling because of the low center of gravity, and the most fun part of all is not having to stop for gas. And right now, for the first time, the total cost of ownership of an electric vehicle is about to beat the cost of owning its gas-powered brother, if you consider the fuel and maintenance savings and some tax incentives that are offered. But is an electric vehicle the right choice for you? Let's take a look. Range just like gas-powered cars have different ranges depending on the size of their tank and fuel efficiency, electric vehicles have different ranges depending on the size of the battery and power consumption. Some can go as little as 100 miles, while others can get over 400 miles on a single charge. So, what kind of range do you need? If you're like me, living in a suburb, being able to go 40 miles round trip to work and back without recharging is nice. You can do that with most electric vehicles. And you can do this with every new vehicle on the market today. And with the right equipment installed and the right EV, you can get much longer ranges charged overnight. Charging. Now think about that for a second. You just plug the car in at night and you have full vehicle range in the morning. You never have to go to a gas station in the morning. All you need is a regular 120 volt receptacle, something that nearly every garage has, and you can add 40 to 50 miles of driving range overnight. These kinds of chargers are called level one chargers. Hey Bob, you doing those internet videos again? Hi, yes I am. How you doing, buddy? Well, I just wanted to add that like rural co-op members, I've got a longer commute to work and so I added a level two charger in my garage. Sweet, why don't you tell us what that is? Sure. A level two charger requires a bit more equipment, but with about a thousand dollar investment, you can charge your car up to 200 miles overnight. And here's a tip, many utilities are starting to offer cheaper rates at night for owners of electric vehicles. Call your co-op to find out if they offer it. Sweetheart, since dinner's frozen and you're gonna have to move out of the house, Yikes. why don't you talk about renters? Okay, I'll make this quick. Many apartment complexes are starting to install and offer charging infrastructure as part of their amenities. Also, there are many employers starting to install and offer charging options for their employees. And to attain corporate goals and eliminate carbon emissions, many of the same companies are converting their fleet vehicles to electric vehicles, and in the process can offer their employees to use the corporate chargers while they work at a discounted rate. Cost now you may think these vehicles are super expensive, but you'd be surprised how affordable they are when you take into account some federal and state tax incentives. Cost of fuel and maintenance. And of course there's the cost of fuel and maintenance that really makes these cars cheaper in the end. The cost of powering these vehicles is significantly lower. To make a comparison, we suggest you visit ChooseEV.com save to find your electric utility to see how much it will cost to charge your EV based on their power prices. If you can't find your utility, use this simple calculator to generate an estimated cost. Compare your current gas-powered vehicle to any new or used electric vehicle. Or compare a new gas vehicle to a new electric vehicle, see how much you might save when you choose EV for your next vehicle. And when it comes to maintenance, I'm no rocket scientist, but from what I've read so far, EVs have significantly fewer moving parts than their internal combustion engine counterparts. Fewer moving parts equates to less breakdowns. Okay, Bob, get your moving parts inside so we can eat already. See you all next time when we compare the cost of owning an electric versus gas-powered car.